As Eric Ten Hag's signings continue to feature more and more in Manchester United's starting lineup, but the team's results remain stagnant, it is time to put the club's transfers under the microscope. In particular, Anthony is the player who is most suspected of the legitimacy of this expensive deal. Take the Manchester Derby for example. The Brazilian midfielder showed senseless hot-headedness. And he could have been sent off for kicking and slapping Jeremy Doko at the end of the match. The referee ignored the foul, but it also showed that Anthony was not worthy of being on the field. The second most expensive player in Manchester United has been benched too many times, which he should have had with what he received from Manchester United. Compared to Jack Grealish, who was also bought for a lot of money before Anthony arrived at Old Trafford, Jack's price is higher and his contribution is much greater. He was a key part of Manchester City's travel in his second season at the club. Anthony, on the other hand, has only scored one goal in his last 29 appearances in all competitions, and he has only scored 8 goals and provided 3 assists in 53 appearances for Manchester United. The question is, is a mediocre footballer and a puzzling deal worth the price the root of what is happening at Manchester United? After spending £400 million in his reign, Eric Ten Hag's Manchester United has more losses than Nottingham Forest. They are currently 8 points behind the top 4 and 7 points behind Aston Villa. When 35-year-old free transfer Johnny Evans has to start and commit a foul that leads to a penalty, one wonders where Ten Hag's money has gone. And when two of Ten Hag's biggest signings Mason Mount and Anthony are on the bench, the conclusion is pretty simple, Manchester United's transfers have been a complete failure. According to The Independent, the nature of the problem may be more complex, but for now, things are pretty clear, Manchester United paid too much, signed some people who weren't good enough, had confused thinking, continued to spend too much and achieved too little. It's like a road to ruin, the deeper you go, the deeper you sink. For example, Onena has been inconsistent. Hochland, who cost £72 million after scoring 9 goals in Serie A for Atlanta, scored in the Champions League and showed great potential, but has yet to find a net in the Premier League. Mason Mount does not seem to be compatible with Bruno Fernandes, and has come off the bench in three of his last four games. It seems to be a case of targeting the wrong type of midfielder, Manchester United went for a no. 10 when they really needed an 8. On the positive side, Hochland is probably the most likely to succeed. Onena is at least gradually integrating, but there are few signs that Ten Hag will be able to solve the Mount conundrum. The total cost of the three players is around £180 million, but nothing has really been worth the money spent. Mount is a prime example. In the summer transfer window, midfielders were in demand. But while Dominic Sobersly, Declan Rice, James Madison, and James Ward-Prowse have all shown their quality, Mount is becoming increasingly redundant. This forces people to remember the previous season's signings. Case Miro is being tormented by age and it seems that his value only exists in the first season. Lisandro Martinez is currently on the bench often. Manchester United has received too little benefit this season from the six signings that account for most of the £400 million Anthony and Mount are considered to be out. Case Miro, Onena, and Martinez are also unlikely to improve. Ten Hag has a total of 16 transfers. Of the three names Altai Bainder, Jack Butland, and Martin Dubravka, only one has played. Marcel Sabitzer and Sergio Rigailan are short-term loan deals. Evans is a firefighter, Ericsson is a free transfer. Most of the money that Manchester United 
has spent is for 10 hex relationships. For example, the two Dutchmen Tyrell Malaysia and Wildweg Horst. Midfooder Sofian Amrabat was 10 hex roommate at Utrecht. Then there are Anthony, Martin, and Onena from Ajax. They may be excellent in 10 hex ice in the Dutch league, but Manchester United is a different story. The problem is that they are favoured by 10 hex, so it seems that if the Dutch coach remains in place, the situation at Manchester United will not change much. That's why the Anthony deal is said to be devilish.